Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter Byance Beyonce, née Knowles, born September 4, 1981, is an American singer, songwriter, and businesswoman. Dubbed as Queen Bey and a prominent cultural figure of the 21st century, she has been recognized for her artistry and performances, with Rolling Stone naming her one of the greatest vocalists of all time. Beyonce started performing in various singing and dancing competitions as a child. She rose to fame in the late 1990s as a member of the R&B girl group Destiny's Child, one of the best-selling girl groups of all time. Their hiatus saw the release of her debut album Dangerously in Love, 2003. She then released the commercially successful solo album's birthday, 2006, I Am, Sasha Fierce, 2008, and 4, 2011. After creating her own management company, Parkwood Entertainment, Beyoncé achieved acclaim for releasing the sonically experimental visual albums Beyoncé, 2013, and Lemonade, 2016, which explored multiple societal themes such as feminism, relationships, and womanism. Following the release of the queer-inspired dance album Renaissance, 2022, she became the first solo artist to have their first seven studio albums debut at number one in the United States. Some of Beyoncé's most successful songs include Crazy in Love, Baby Boy, Check on It, Irreplaceable, If I Were a Boy, Halo, Single Ladies, Put a Ring on It, Run the World, Girls, Love on Top, Drunk in Love, Formation, Break My Soul, and Cuff It. Her collaborative music ventures include Everything is Love, 2018, an album with her husband Jay-Z, as the Carters, and the musical film Black is King, 2020, inspired by the music of the film soundtrack The Lion King, The Gift, 2019. Homecoming, the live album, 2019, which chronicles her 2018 Coachella performance, has been heralded as one of the best live albums of all time, lauded for wide-reaching curation from many eras of black musical history. Outside of music, she has starred as an actress in multiple films such as Austin Powers in Goldmember, 2002, The Pink Panther, 2006, Dreamgirls, 2006, Cadillac Records, 2008, Obsessed, 2009, and The Lion King, 2019. Having sold over 200 million records worldwide, Beyoncé is one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Her accolades include 32 Grammy Awards, the most Grammys won by any artist, 26 MTV Video Music Awards, including the 2014 Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award, 24 NAACP Image Awards, 35 BET Awards, and 17 Soul Train Music Awards, all of which are more than any other artist in the music industry. Her success during the 2000s earned her recognition as the Recording Industry Association of America RIA, as Top Certified Artist of the Decade and Billboard's Top Female Artist of the Decade. In 2014, Billboard named her the highest earning black musician of all time. She is the most successful black touring act in history and received the Polestar Touring Artist of the Decade Award in 2021. Time included her as one of the 100 women who defined the 21st century. Beyoncé Giselle Knowles was born on September 4, 1981, in Houston, Texas, to Celestine Tina Knowles, née Beyoncé, a hairdresser and salon owner, and Matthew Knowles, a Xerox sales manager. Tina is Louisiana Creole, and Matthew is African American. Beyoncé's younger sister, Solange Knowles, is also a singer and a former backup dancer for Destiny's Child. Solange and Beyoncé are the first sisters to have both had number one solo albums. Beyoncé's maternal grandparents, Loomis Bayens and Agne Duran, daughter of Odelia Broussard and Eugene Deruan, were French-speaking Louisiana Creoles, with roots in New Iberia. Beyoncé is considered a Creole, passed on to her by her grandparents. She is a descendant of Acadian militia officer Joseph Broussard, who was exiled to French Louisiana after the expulsion of the Acadians. Her fourth great-grandmother, Marie-Francoise Trahan, was born in 1774 in Bangor, located on Belle Isle, France. Trahan was a daughter of Acadians who had taken refuge on Belle Isle after the Acadian expulsion. The estates of Brittany had divided the lands of Belle Isle to distribute them among 78 other Acadian families and the already settled inhabitants. The Trahan family lived on Belle Isle for over 10 years before immigrating to Louisiana, where she married a Broussard descendant. 
Beyonce researched her ancestry and discovered that she is descended from a slave owner who married his slave. Her mother is also of distant Irish, Jewish, Spanish, Chinese and Indonesian ancestry. Beyonce was raised Methodist and attended St. John's United Methodist Church. She went to St. Mary's Montessori School in Houston and enrolled in dance classes there. Her singing was discovered when dance instructor Darlette Johnson began humming a song and she finished it, able to hit the high-pitched notes. Beyonce's interest in music and performing continued after winning a school talent show at age 7, singing John Lennon's Imagine to beat 15-16-year-olds. In the fall of 1990, Beyonce enrolled in Parker Elementary School, a music magnet school in Houston, where she would perform with the school's choir. She also attended the High School for the Performing and Visual Arts and later Alif Elsik High School. Beyonce was also a member of the choir at St. John's United Methodist Church where she sang her first solo and was a soloist for two years. When Beyonce was eight, she met Latavia Roberson at an audition for an all-girl entertainment group. They were placed into a group called Girls Time with three other girls, and rapped and danced on the talent show circuit in Houston. After seeing the group, R&B producer Arne Frager brought them to his Northern California studio and placed them in Star Search, the largest talent show on national TV at the time. Girls' Time failed to win, and Beyoncé later said the song they performed was not good. In 1995, Beyoncé's father resigned from his job to manage the group. The move reduced the family's income by half, and Beyoncé's parents were forced to sell their house and cars and move into separated apartments. Matthew cut the original lineup to four and the group continued performing as an opening act for other established R&B girl groups. The girls auditioned before record labels and were finally signed to Elektra Records, moving to Atlanta Records. Briefly to work on their first recording, only to be cut by the company. This put further strain on the family, and Beyoncé's parents separated. On October 5, 1995, Dwayne Wiggins's Grassroots Entertainment signed the group. In 1996, the girls began recording their debut album under an agreement with Sony Music, the Knowles family reunited, and shortly after, the group got a contract with Columbia Records with the assistance of Columbia talent scout Teresa La Barbera Weiss. The group changed their name to Destiny's Child in 1996, based upon a passage in the Book of Isaiah. In 1997, Destiny's Child released their major label debut song Killing Time on the soundtrack to the 1997 film Men in Black. In November, the group released their debut single and first major hit, No, No, No. They released their self-titled debut album in February 1998, which established the group as a viable act in the music industry, with moderate sales and winning the group three Soul Train Lady of Soul Awards for Best R&B Slash Soul Album of the Year, Best R&B Slash Soul or Rap New Artist, and Best R&B Slash Soul Single for No, No, No. The group released their multi-platinum second album The Writings on the Wall. In 1999, the record features some of the group's most widely known songs such as Bills, 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 the group's first number one single, Jumpin' Jumpin' and Say My Name, which became their most successful song at the time, and would remain one of their signature songs. Say My Name won the best R&B performance by a duo or group with vocals and the best R&B song at the 43rd Annual Grammy Awards. The writings on the wall sold more than 8 million copies worldwide. During this time, Beyoncé recorded a duet with Mark Nelson, an original member of Boys Two Men, on the song After All Is Said and Done for the soundtrack to the 1999 film, The Best Man Latoya Luckett and Roberson became unhappy with Matthew's managing of the band and eventually were replaced by Farrah Franklin and Michelle Williams. Beyoncé experienced depression following the split with Luckett and Roberson after being publicly blamed by the media, critics, and blogs for its cause. Her long-standing boyfriend left her at this time. The depression was so severe it lasted for a couple of years, during which she occasionally kept herself in her bedroom for days and refused to eat anything. Beyoncé stated that she struggled to speak about her depression because Destiny's Child had just won their first Grammy Award, and she feared no one would take her seriously. Beyoncé would later speak of her mother as the person who helped her fight it. Franklin was then dismissed, leaving just Beyoncé, Roland, and Williams. The remaining band members recorded Independent Women Part I, which appeared on the soundtrack to the 2000 film Charlie's Angels. 
It became their best charting single, topping the US Billboard Hot 100 chart for 11 consecutive weeks. In early 2001, while Destiny's Child was completing their third album, Beyoncé landed a major role in the MTV made-for-television film, Carmen, a hip hopera, starring alongside American actor Mackay Pfeiffer. Set in Philadelphia, the film is a modern interpretation of the 19th-century opera Carmen by French composer Georges Bizet. When the third album Survivor was released in May 2001, Luckett and Roberson filed a lawsuit claiming that the songs were aimed at them. The album debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200, with first week sales of 663,000 copies sold. The album spawned other number one hits, Bootalicious and the title track, Survivor, the latter of which earned the group a Grammy Award for Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocals. After releasing their holiday album Eight Days of Christmas in October 2001, the group announced a hiatus to further pursue solo careers. Beyoncé names Michael Jackson as her major musical influence. Aged. 5. Beyoncé attended her first ever concert where Jackson performed and she claims to have realized her purpose. When she presented him with a tribute award at the World Music Awards in 2006, Beyoncé said, If it wasn't for Michael Jackson, I would never ever have performed. Beyoncé was heavily influenced by Tina Turner, and once said Tina Turner is someone that I admire, because she made her strength feminine and sexy. She admires Diana Ross as an all-around entertainer, and Whitney Houston, who she said inspired me to get up there and do what she did. Beyoncé cited Madonna as an influence not only for her musical style, but also for her business sense, saying that she wanted to follow in the footsteps of Madonna and be a powerhouse and have my own empire. She also credits Mariah Carey's singing and her song Vision of Love as influencing her to begin practicing vocal runs as a child. Her other musical influences include Rachel Farrell, Aaliyah, Janet Jackson, Prince, Shakira, Lauren Hill, Sada Adu, Donna Summer, Mary J. Blige, Selena, Anita Baker, and Toni Braxton. The feminism and female empowerment themes on Beyoncé's second solo album Birthday were inspired by her role in Dreamgirls and by singer Josephine Baker. Beyoncé paid homage to Baker by performing Deja Vu at the 2006 Fashion Rocks concert wearing Baker's trademark mini hula skirt embellished with fake bananas. Beyoncé's third solo album, I Am, Sasha Fierce, was inspired by Jay-Z and especially by Etta James, whose boldness inspired Beyoncé to explore other musical genres and styles. Her fourth solo album, Four, was inspired by Fela Kuti, 1990s R&B, Earth, Wind and Fire, DeBarge, Lionel Richie, Tina Marie, The Jackson 5, New Edition, Adele, Florence and the Machine, and Prince. Beyoncé has stated that she is personally inspired by Michelle Obama, the 44th First Lady of the United States, saying she proves you can do it all, and has described Oprah Winfrey as the definition of inspiration and a strong woman. She has also discussed how Jay-Z is a continuing inspiration to her, both with what she describes as his lyrical genius and in the obstacles he has overcome in his life. Beyoncé has expressed admiration for the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat posting in a letter what I find in the work of Jean-Michel Basquiat, I search for in every day in music, he is lyrical and raw. Beyoncé also cited Cher as a fashion inspiration. In 2002, Beyoncé and Jay-Z collaborated on the song O3 Bonnie and Clyde, which appeared on his seventh album The Blueprint 2, The Gift and the Curse, 2002. Beyoncé appeared as Jay-Z's girlfriend in the music video for the song, fueling speculation about their relationship. On April 4, 2008, Beyoncé and Jay-Z married without publicity. As of April 2014, the couple had sold a combined 300 million records together. They are known for their private relationship, although they have appeared to become more relaxed since 2013. Both have acknowledged difficulty that arose in their marriage after Jay-Z had an affair. Beyoncé mascarade around 2010 or 2011, describing it as the saddest thing she had ever endured. She returned to the studio and wrote music to cope with the loss. In April 2011, Beyoncé and Jay-Z traveled to Paris to shoot the album cover for Four, and she unexpectedly became pregnant in Paris. In August, the couple attended the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards, at which Beyoncé performed Love on Top and ended the performance by revealing she was pregnant. 
Her appearance helped that year's MTV Video Music Awards become the most watched broadcast in MTV history, pulling in 12.4 million viewers. The announcement was listed in Guinness World Records for most tweets per second recorded for a single event on Twitter, receiving 8,868 tweets per second and Beyonce Pregnant was the most googled phrase the week of August 29, 2011. On January 7, 2012, Beyonce gave birth to a daughter, Blue Ivy, at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City. Following the release of Lemonade, which included the single Sorry, in 2016, speculations arose about Jay-Z's alleged infidelity with a mistress referred to as Becky. John Perels in the New York Times pointed out that many of the accusations were aimed specifically and recognizably at him. Similarly, Rob Sheffield of Rolling Stone magazine noted the lines suck on my balls. I've had enough were an unmistakable hint that the lyrics revolve around Jay-Z. On February 1, 2017, she revealed on her Instagram account that she was expecting twins. Her announcement gained over 6.3 million likes within 8 hours, breaking the world record for the most liked image on the website at the time. On July 13, 2017, Beyoncé uploaded the first image of herself and the twins onto her Instagram account, confirming their birth date as a month prior, on June 13, 2017, with the post becoming the second most liked on Instagram, behind her own pregnancy announcement. The twins, a daughter named Rumi and a son named Sir, were born at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center in California. She wrote of her pregnancy and its aftermath in the September 2018 issue of Vogue, in which she had full control of the cover, shot at Hammerwood Park by photographer Tyler Mitchell. Beyoncé's success has led to her becoming a cultural icon and earning her the nickname Queen Bey. Constance Grady wrote for Vox, the transformation of Beyoncé from well-liked pop star to cultural icon came in three phases, punctuated by the self-titled Beyoncé album of 2013, 2016's Lemonade, and 2018's Homecoming. Concert at Coachella. In The New Yorker, music critic Jody Rosen described Beyoncé as the most important and compelling popular musician of the 21st century, the result, the logical endpoint, of a century plus of pop. She topped NPR list of the 21st century's most influential women musicians. James Clear, in his book Atomic Habits, 2018, draws a parallel between Beyoncé's success and the dramatic transformations in modern society. In the last 100 years, we have seen the rise of the car, the airplane, the television, the personal computer, the internet, the smartphone, and Beyoncé. The Observer named her Artist of the Decade, 2000s, in 2009. Writing for Entertainment Weekly, Alex Susskind noticed how Beyoncé was the decade's, 2010s, defining pop star, stating that no one dominated music in the 2010s like Queen Bey, explaining that her songs, album rollouts, stage presence, social justice initiatives, and disruptive public relations strategy have influenced the way we've viewed music since 2010. British publication NME also shared similar thoughts on her impact in the 2010s, including Beyoncé on their list of the 10 artists who defined the decade. In 2018, Rolling Stone included her on its Millennial 100 list. Music critics have often credited Beyoncé with the invention of the staccato rap singing style that has since dominated pop, R&B, and rap music. Lakin Starling of The Fader wrote that Beyoncé's innovative implementation of the delivery style on Destiny's Child's 1999 album The Writings on the Wall invented a new form of R&B Beyoncé's. New style subsequently changed the nature of music, revolutionizing both singing in urban music and rapping in pop music, and becoming the dominant sound of both genres L. The style helped to redefine both the breadth of commercial R&B and the sound of hip-hop, with artists such as Kanye West and Drake implementing Beyoncé's cadence in the late 2000s and early 2010s. The staccato rap singing style continued to be used in the music industry in the late 2010s and early 2020s, Aaron Williams of Uproxx described Beyoncé as the primary pioneer of the rapping style that dominates the music industry today, with many contemporary rappers implementing Beyoncé's rap singing. Michael Eric Dyson agrees, saying that Beyoncé changed the whole genre and has become the godmother of mumble rappers, who use the staccato rap singing cadence. Dyson added, 
she doesn't get credit for the remarkable way in which she changed the musical vocabulary of contemporary art. Beyoncé has been credited with reviving the album as an art form in an era dominated by singles and streaming. This started with her 2011 album 4, while mainstream R&B artists were foregoing albums led R&B in favor of singles led. EDM, Beyoncé aimed to place the focus back on albums as an art form and re-establish R&B as a mainstream concern. This remained a focus of Beyoncé's, and in 2013, she made her eponymous album only available to purchase as a full album on iTunes, rather than being able to purchase individual tracks or consume the album via streaming. Caitlin Menza of Marie Claire wrote that this made listeners experience the album as one whole sonic experience, the way people used to, noting the musical and lyrical themes. Jameson Cox for The Verge described how Beyoncé's 2013 album initiated a gradual trend of albums becoming more cohesive and self-referential, and this phenomenon reached its endpoint with Lemonade, which set a new standard for pop storytelling at the highest possible scale. Megan Carpentier of The Guardian wrote that with Lemonade, Beyoncé has almost revived the album format by releasing an album that can only be listened to in its entirety. MYF Warhurst on Double J's Lunch with MYF explained that while most artists' albums consist of a few singles plus filler songs, Beyoncé brought the album back, changing the art form of the album to a narrative with an arc and a story and you have to listen to the entire thing to get the concept. She is known for coining popular phrases such as put a ring on it, a euphemism for marriage. Proposal, I woke up like this, which started a trend of posting morning selfies with the hashtag hashtag I woke up like these, and boy, bye, which was used as part of the Democratic National Committee's campaign for the 2020 election. Similarly, she also came up with the phrase visual album following the release of her fifth studio album, which had a video for every song. This has been recreated by many other artists since, such as Frank Ocean and Melanie Martinez. The album also popularized surprise releases, with many artists releasing songs, videos, or albums with no prior announcement, such as Taylor Swift, Nicki Minaj, Eminem, Frank Ocean, Jay-Z and Drake. In January 2012, research scientist Brian Lessard named Scaptia buoncea, a species of horsefly found in northern Queensland, Australia. After Beyoncé due to the fly's unique golden hairs on its abdomen, hairs on its abdomen,